Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome to the Soul Family reading. I have to call this the sunrise reading this morning, because it is the sunrise. Uh, and I was thinking, wow, let's see if I can get a good shot with this, the sunlight. And yes, I'll knock on wood. We have the overall energies, the two of cups. Okay, set this up already. Um... So, uh, the soul family read, I intend to be more about manifestation, spirituality, but also love and relationship. So, <clears throat> it seems today with the two of cups being the overall energy, it could go that way. You know, the two of cups in a more spiritual sense, I mean, it is emotional, and it is self-love. And we do also have the two of pentacles here, what's blocking us. Well, I was thinking uh, a little different interpretation. That would be like figure the two of pentacles is reversed, okay? Because it's in the blocking position. This is just how we are. This is fantastic. We're very solid about something. Um, this two of cups, you know, I'll tell you what this is not. It's, uh, it's no kind of decision. That's not what that is. Uh -uh. That's a union, emotional connection. Um, with the self, um, the emotional body, with the soul body, I'm thinking, the emotional body with the physical body. Uh, a bridge, too, uh, cup to cup, um, the physical body with the spiritual body, you know, through the emotional body. Thinking about, for myself, how um, mental state, emotional state, especially emotional, huh? Sustained. Um, can affect my body. I've seen it, you know, over the decades, actually. So I understand uh, how that works. I think that's what that's about. But this here is very solid. It's a, again, I love it. it's got personal energy. This is uh, something real here. It's not just pie in the sky. A real commitment. A real sense of uh, of uh, beginning um, here. But what is blocking us, I think why this Two of Pentacles relates a little bit to the Two of Cups. Um, I think this energy with the Two of Cups, if it's going to be seen as a spiritual energy, and keep in mind, I really think, if, if we have this kind of feeling where we're giving ourselves our cup of love and, and bringing this u internal union, that's going to possibly draw in uh, that kind of energy into our actual relationship friends and lovers right though no. um, theoretically here um, so I think it's uh, like a mirror and it's a little hard to put this into practice because the two of Pentacles is that really balanced energy of really being in practice every day of doing something doing it well um, I'd like to make the analogy someone that's getting up in the morning and exercising right away you know not me I'm kind of uh, working on it <laughs> and you know then they uh, eat a protein drink a protein shake and then they uh, do some yoga and do something else healthy and, you know and work hard and take care of the kids I mean they just do it all and it's balancing things point is it and often it's not that bad you could do this forever and put on your personality uh, but it takes energy and it takes concentration to balance these things. Real energy and concentration is not bullshit around. You can't just like think about doing things when you're into a pinnacles. You have to actually do them. Um, and so maybe this energy of the ace of pinnacles, how it relates to me, it's kind of new. Uh, being solid, being grounded, being committed down for the long haul here. Now advice from spirit comes in and, and we get the nine of wands. The wounded warrior energy here. It's in reverse. I gotta tell you, it, it, the, the energy's about to release. It's kind of releasing. You know, that's what this is, you know. Um, we've had a lot of, uh, if you're Sagittarius particularly, um, you've had a lot of trials and tribulation. I think kind of we all have. Hasn't it kind of been a trial? I'm 60, almost two years old. And I have never, in, but I've always been kind of aware, you know, I was thinking back to like 15 stuff I was reading. I mean, my God, you know, and I have never seen anything like what's been going on the last couple of years in the world. 
I wouldn't be surprised if it's caused everyone, this is having to expend a lot of energy, make a lot of effort, and oftentimes uh, it indicates that these may have been uh, failures. We may look at them, but are always lessons, always uh, honing us into something better, these so-called failures. Um, but now this is in reverse here, and this is advice, and I think it's trying to say that the way is kind of being cleared for us, I think, energetically, you know? It's like the energy's there, this uh, wounded uh, warrior. It's like a story we tell ourselves in our head, and we don't have to tell that story anymore. I like just literally when we meet someone, hey, David, uh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Um, you know, oh, cool, you know, and I'm because I'm really fine. It's like, well, what's going on? Oh, well, I'm doing this and that, and uh, how about you? And you know, and, you know, I don't have to focus on all of this stuff from the past, you know. And, you know, I think this is kind of a new pattern for me. And even though this is a strong commitment, you know, here it's going to also have to take this strong action. This has to be turned around from being in a blocking position. Honestly, I'm working on it. That's exactly where I'm at right now. And I got a lot of help with this. This is a daily routine, a little bit of another Virgo card. Because there's a little six house to this, two of pentacles. Which is take care of your business, take care of the little details day to day, you know, take care of your vitamins, get your exercise, all that shit, do the little little things, and it's going to add up to, you know, having more energy. Um, and then I find this is fascinating, I mentioned Sag, I'm a Sag, but we get the Sagittarius card, here's the outcome, and I think it's come up every day in one way or another. Uh, through these uh, soul family reads, guys. Uh, it's a beautiful card here. Look at the balance. This is what we're looking forward to. This is what we're growing into. You know, it's the highest octave of Sag here. Think as an outcome. And I think really good with the light. We can see you know, I get a little glitter and everything. It's like uh, this is ninth house energy. It's the highest octave. This is being uh, very secure with where we're at, very happy with where we're at, very fulfilled having patience and temperance because we don't perceive that there's any problems. We only are just happy to be alive and doing what we're doing and loving who we're loving. This is the energy we see here with the temperance as the outcome. And not to forget, it, it is yet a fiery energy. And there is a protection. I've seen this several times. Look, this is angelic protection. And I feel it myself. And if, if you're open to that, you know, I before this reading, as always, I say, you know, I am surrounded by pure white light. Nothing but white light can come to me. Nothing but white light can go from me. And um, then I proceed uh, with the reading. And that's what this is. I mean, uh, maybe just let me tell you, if you're listening this far in, uh, if you're not uh, aware, I mean, you can speak to them. Uh, the heart spread can be used as a uh, really good tool for finding your ancestral angel. I find the most important. And I'm not important enough, apparently, to deal with archangels. Um, but uh, then once we know who this is, I really think it helps. Like, I know I can speak to my grandmother. I, I know what she looked like in life. I know what our relationship was. I know she's here. Um, and there's... Um, having learned over the years what they are once they pass they're not their ego self so like your ex-husband ex-wife or, or your passed on spouse loved one you know they're, they're not anymore having any ego issues they just want you to be happy for instance they're not going to be jealous maybe they're crazy jealous or crazy scorpio jealous bastards in life but now that they're passed on if there's love there love is what finds and all they want is uh, for you to be happy and, and have passion and love, um, you can rest assured of that. And that's what's around us right now. There's very positive energy. Um, um, we have no worries uh, energetically or from the other side. No, we, it's like green light here. All we got to do is do our thing. We, we decided now, good for us, you know, here we go. We decided. And these trials and tribulations are over. All the spinning our wheels, energy for dead ends. You know, we're, we're not going to do it, you know. Now, temperance here does imply uh, still a period of rest. We're not taken off yet, right? It's not full, not the ace of wands, not the ace of uh, knights or knight of wands or something like that, okay? Um, so it fits perfectly for me. I mean, it's a holiday season. Um, it's, um, 
really beautiful here in Cancun, Mexico. The weather is ridiculously nice. Uh, uh, gracias a Dios. So thank you guys. If you can think of anywhere to share Soul Family Read, please do. I always think of Terrence McKenna. Find the others. And I love Terrence McKenna. Remember our two of cups here. Right? We're not in, we're it's like that mem. It's like, oh my god, I found the one. And it's me. <laughs> but it also could be the one. Thank you guys.